Welcome to today's lesson on sinusoidal regression. Now this is something that you will definitely need a calculator for today. So make sure you have your calculator. Here's mine. Look, there it is. And I'm going to clear the memory. You never know who used it last. So in this problem right here, the doctor and his companion Donna are trying to decide where to spend spring break. The doctor is favoring Chicago, while Donna would love to go to Honolulu. Using the information given in the table below, help them to make a decision. All right, so we basically got the normal, the normal daily high temperatures for each month of the year, given January on the first day of the year, first month, all the way through December. And, of course, H, this is for Honolulu and, of course, Chicago. All right? So what we're going to do is we're going to go to our calculator and make a trigonometric model for, e, for Honolulu. Very easy to do. In your calculator, you've done this before, you go to Stat, Edit. In L1, we're going to put the months of the year, January through December. So we're going to go 1, whoops, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Under L2, for Honolulu, we're going to put the average temperature. So 80.1, 80.5, 81.6, enter. Make sure you get the right ones. 82.8, 84.7, 86.5, 88.6, 87.5. Eighty-eight point five, eighty-six point nine, eighty-four point one, and eighty-one point two. Wow. Okay. So now, next we have to get the model. To do that, get out of there. Go to your home screen, and now we're going to go to Stat, just like we did before, but we're going to go over to Calc. Now, in previous classes, you have done linear regressions, quadratic, cubic, quartic. But if we keep going down, we'll go all the way down until it says, ah, sine reg. That's our trigonometric regression. So letter C, hit enter once, hit enter again, and it should give you your equation. Y equals, we just can type all this in sine. There's our B, X, C, all that stuff. So when I write it out, be careful how they wrote it. They didn't factor out the B, so we got to be really careful with that. So we're going to write this as Y equals, just writing, looking at it again, 4.241, or just go out to two decimal places, 4.24 sine B point five one X plus C, which is negative 2.44 plus D, 84.34. I kind of ran out of room there. And we're going to do the same thing for Chicago. So to do Chicago, just go to Stat. That's right over here, by the way. Edit. We don't have to change L1, just L2. And don't have to be, don't have to clear anything, but if you want to, go up here, hit clear, gets rid of it all. 29, 33.5. 45.8, and again, get out of there, go to stat, Cal, go all the way down to letter C again, and we're going to get our sin reg. That doesn't mean commit sin regularly. That's our sine regression. Hit enter, and there's our equation. And again, Y equals, go out two decimal places, 28.58 sine of our B, 0.47X minus or plus a negative 1.81 plus 55.71. And there's our equation for Chicago. Now on the next one, they want us to graph the data on 
Honolulu. Now to graph the data, since we already have, we, so we, what we're going to have to do is we have to go back to our stat and we're going to have to edit it again. So we're going to type in our data for uh, Honolulu one more time here. So if I type that in, 80.1, 80.5, 81.6, 82.5, 82.7, 82.8, 86.5, and what I'm going to do next, though, is I'm going to graph this. But when I graph it, I'm going to go to Zoom, and I'm going to go all the way down, scroll down until it says Stat. That means Zoom Statistics. And I hit Enter. Interesting. So let's go to our stat plot. Second stat plot. Ah, you got to go to second stat plot. Make sure it's turned on. I don't know why it wasn't turned on. So try it again. Zoom. Go all the way down to where it says stat. Hit enter. And there's our data. Oh, look at that. It's like a nice curve like a sine graph. So what they want us to do next is to graph our Honolulu equation. So I go to y equals and I just type in my equation, 4.24 sine 0.51x. You can put a plus and negative or just minus 2.44 plus 84.34. And I just graph this. And if you notice, ah, it follows it pretty good, doesn't it? It says, so you just, how well does the model fit? It fits pretty well. It fits pretty good. Right? It's kind of cool. It just follows it. So we can actually use this curve to predict the temperature. Okay? Now the next thing they want us to do, the same thing for Chicago. All right. So I'm going to do the same thing for Chicago. So i got to type in my Chicago temperatures again. So clear everything, go to stat, edit, type in my Chicago data. All right. So I go 29, 33.5, 45.8, 58.6, 70.1, 79.6, 83.7, 81.8, 74.8, 63.3, 84.4, and 34. Now, again, I'm going to zoom. Whoop, go to Y equals. Clear that out before we do anything else. Now, again, I'm going to go zoom. Go down to stat again. And there's my graph. Okay, kind of looks like the last one. Eh, okay. Go to Y equals. Now, type in your sine function. 28.58 sine 0.47 x minus 1.81 plus 55.71. And if I graph it again, you should notice it follows it again very closely. So how well does it fit? Even better than the other one. Even better. Okay? It fits very well. Okay? So let's go ahead and see if we answer some questions here. So for part four, it says use the models to estimate the average temperature in each city. Huh, well that's pretty easy to do because watch what happens if I draw in the midline for Chicago, 55.71. If I draw in the midline. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to draw the midline in. Just looking at Chicago. Hit graph, ah, and there it is. There's my midline. If you notice, it's in the middle. So if I want to get the average, what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at the midline. So for, for, so for Honolulu, Honolulu, the average will be 84.34 degrees Fahrenheit. And then for Chicago, Chicago, the average will be 55.71 degrees Fahrenheit. And what term do we use? 
the midline. The midline will give us the average. All right. Now, to get the period, now we know how to get the period. Okay, so let's take a look at Honolulu. Remember, the period is 2 pi over b. So if I want to get the period for Honolulu, Hano, ooh, that's embarrassing, Honolulu, I'm going to take 2 pi, and my b for Honolulu, 0.51. And that's going to give me 2, so quit, clear. So if I type in 2 pi divided by 0.51, we get 12.51. 3.2. And let's do this for Chicago, and we'll explain that. Sweet home, Chicago. So 2 pi, Chicago's B is 0.47. So if I try that again, take 2 pi, divided by 0.47, and here I get about 13.37. And we want to ask, well, what does that mean? Are they what we expected? Well, the question is, what should we expect here? Okay, we're talking about the period. Now, we're talking about a typical year is 12 months. So what they should be expected, we should expect 12 months. We should expect 12. And are these about what we expected? Yeah, they're pretty close. So they're pretty close. Okay, so it's pretty close to what we expected. We can't expect to get perfect because, again, we're just approximating here. All right, so which city has the greater variability throughout the year? Ah, well, greater variability? Well, if we look at Honolulu, Honolulu, remember, its average was 84.34 degrees Fahrenheit. Well, how would we get the variability? Well, that's going to be, well, what's going to be the most extreme temperature there, right? So i got to look for that peak. So I'm looking for the amplitude. I'm going to compare the amplitudes here. So that's what we're going to do here. We're going to compare the amplitudes. So the Honolulu, it has an amplitude. Ah, well, I can get that from my equation. Honolulu has an amplitude of 4.24 degrees. That means its temperature could vary as much as 4 degrees higher or 4 degrees lower. So for Honolulu, its temperature could be as low, and if I take, so if I take 84.34 minus 4.24, it could be as low as 81 degrees, 80.1 degrees, or as high, 84.34 plus 4.24, it could be as high as 88.58 degrees. If we look at Chicago, it has an average temperature of 55.71 degrees. Its amplitude is 28.58 degrees. So that's way different. See, Chicago then could have a low temperature if I take that 55.71 minus 28.58 it could be as low as 21.13 degrees or as high as 28 point, uh, plus that, or as high as 84.29 degrees. So which one has more variability? Now, this doesn't give me variability. That's just kind of for us information. This is our variability right here. So which one has a higher variability? Chicago. And why is that? because it has a bigger amplitude. So Chicago has the greater variability. Now, spring break is the last week in March, so let's try to find out where that is. Uh, January, February, March, the third month. So if we go up to here, here, this is just look at the table. Look at the table. So if I look at the table, Go to the third month. Oh, uh, gee, which would be big, better for uh, spring break? I definitely would think Honolulu at 81.6 degrees. Honolulu. Sydney.